welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. So nowadays I'm exploring the Cessna 172 equipped with Garmin G1000 and in this regard I'm making a series of videos for the beginners so that it's easy for you to look for a specific information on my channel. Uh, because you know there are so many topics to cover and um, uh, it's not uh, wise to cramp up all the information in one video. So that's why I'm using multiple uh, videos to basically break down all the information. So this video is regarding the runway. If you want to change uh, the procedure for the arrival and for the landing, you can easily do it over here. There are two ways to do it, either through the electronic flight bag or using the Garmin G1000. Right now, I'm doing a short flight to Islamabad and Clashley Airport. And if I want to have a look at the flight plan, I can just go to the navigation display, click flight plan, and this flight plan is there. If I bring my cursor over here, uh, I will see this hand sign on this knob, on the smaller one. And if I press it with left mouse button, keep on pressing it and then press the right button, you will see the cursor appears over here. Then you can move the larger knob to basically look at the arrival. This is actually arrival and this is the approach. Now, if I press flight plan, I'll go back again. Now, there are two ways to change this flight plan uh, for the landing. Either you press this uh, button procedure or you use the tab. So first of all, I will use the tab and uh, or the electronic flight bag, which is over here. I can press tab and uh, just bring it over here on the screen. Now I can change the procedure. So first of all, let's say I want to land at runway 10 left instead of 28 right. I will select the runway. Now you can see the procedure has been changed. It's coming as RNAV 10 lift. Now I can click change procedure and over here I can have, you know, VOR, RNAV or VFR pattern. Uh, this is equipped with ILS. It should pick ILS. Let's say if I change it to 10 right, yeah. So 10 right is coming with the ILS. So if you don't see ILS, you can always change the runway. Now ILS 10 right, why? And uh, this is to BTR. Now, if you can see the flight plan has changed, uh, it will first take me to this point ISDO and, and then this is basically the approach. As you can see, it's coming over here, go to this point BTR and then from here it will go here and then to the runway. And now I have to change uh, the procedure for the arrival. Now the arrival procedure, it will be like just like this because you'll come from ISDO and from ISDO you will then take a left turn the same way as it's been loaded over here and then you will land so no need to change it and uh, right now as you can see let me just close it and go to the navigation display now you can see ILS 28 right is coming so if I press tab bring the tab over here again and if I send this route to avionics what will happen so you can see the flight plan has changed the cursor is already there. If it's not there, then you can always bring it. And now you can see the procedure has changed for the approach. So it was really simple. <laughs> so if I zoom out, you will see it. If you want to just uh, go through the flight plan, there is an easy way to do it. Uh, bring your cursor over here. Uh, once you see the hand sign on this knob, press it with left mouse button. Keep on pressing it and then press it with right mouse button. You will see this cursor. Now you can just Hold this knob using your left mouse button. Keep on holding it with the, your left mouse button. And then you can move the cursor. And then you can just scroll through the flight plan. It's easy to do it. And you can also zoom in. And zoom out. That's it. Oops. So here, so let me just fix the view. So here it is. So the plane from ISDO will come to this point BTR and then it will just fly this pattern, come to this point and then it will go for the landing. That's it. It was easy. Now there is another way to change it. Let, let's say I'll just get rid of this flight plan. Now let's say I want to land back at runway 28, right? I can bring up the flight plan and if you look at procedure, if I click this, there are a few options coming. 
activate vectors to final. This will take you to the final approach fix, which is FAF. Um, let me just show you. It comes over here. Initial approach fix is BTR. And uh, if I bring the cursor, I will see that uh, the final approach fix is also coming FAF. This is actually six nautical miles before the runway. So these are all the fixes which are coming. So I can simply press this option, enter, and it will fly directly towards the vectors to final. Activate approach, it will take me to the initial approach fix, and then I can select approach and then arrival. So if I move this cursor, I can go to select approach. First of all, select the approach, then the arrival, and that's it. You don't have to select the departure because we have already departed <laughs> from uh, the runway. So select approach and uh, press enter. And now approach again. I want to use uh, ILSY 28 right. So this is one, ILSY 28 right. And then you have also RNAV. And you can see RNAV and VOR also coming. And visual. So ILS 28 right. Press enter. It's there. Now transition. It's through ISDO. Because that's what I know. BTR, um, there's no use to you. Uh, um, uh, need to use BTR, you can use ISDO. This is uh, something related to the flight plan. So, you know, you know this thing because uh, from ISDO, uh, this is basically where your uh, flight plan finishes and then your approach starts. So this is actually the transition point. So that's why it's ISDO. As you can see it on your maps as well, map as well, that ISDO is the point from where you start. So press enter. Minimums, I will just skip it for now. And uh, that's it. Move this larger knob and just bring your cursor to load. Press enter and uh, just ignore this passage. GPS guidance is for monitoring only. Load approach. Yes. And that's it. Now the approach has changed. Now instead of going to runway 10 left, I'm going to runway 28 right. So I can just have a look at this flight plan again. Move the cursor. So it will go to ISDO and then straightly towards this runway. That's it. So I just wanted to make this uh, short and simple video for the bigness so that you can easily change the approach. If uh, you have any questions regarding uh, this uh, video, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.